In this video, we're going to learn how to do a complete onboarding tour. So you're going to welcome your users, you're going to be able to highlight different features of your product, as well as control the colors and branding of the product tour. So a really good onboarding experience is super important. You're going to be able to teach users how to use your app uh, to get them action quicker and achieving their goals. You're going to have your users experience a lot more value from your product right away because they're going to know how to use everything. And ultimately, this is going to lead to much better user retention because they're going to know exactly what they're doing. First thing you're going to need to do is, of course, install the plugin. So we're going to head over onto our pl plugin section. Then we're going to install A plus onboarding product tour. This is going to come with a full product demo where you can see the back end and all the workflows and how they're set up, as well as some really great written documentation for you to check out, complete with lots of different screenshots and helpful advice. But let's dive in here. The next thing you need to do is at, go into your settings section and then in general you're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and we need to check off this box to expose the option to add an id attribute to html elements what this is going to do is on all of your elements then you're going to be able to see this id attribute box and that's how we're going to uh, tell the plugin where exactly on the page you want your onboarding experience to point towards then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our dashboard page, which is where the entire onboarding is going to happen. We need to drop onto the page our product tour element here, just like so. Don't worry, your users are not going to see this in the app itself. It's just going to be visible in your editor. Then from there, what we can do is head over to our workflow section. So when the page is loaded, what we're going to do is we're going to say activate some different workflow steps, and then we're going to tell the workflow to run. So we're going to do product, and then we're going to add a step in the product tour. And this first step is just going to be welcome. Thanks for signing up. And we'll just copy and paste this. And then our next step is going to be stats. I'm creating a pro podcast stats dashboard here. We're going to copy and paste this as well. Our next one here is going to be about filters. And then we're going to just finish off with the last one here that is going to be thanks for watching. Perfect. And then our last step here is going to be the start workflow or start product tour. All right, let's take a look at what we've built so far. Welcome. Thanks for signing up. Here are your podcast stats, filters. As you can see, they're not going to any particular element quite yet. And then thanks. So what we want to do is we want to actually attach some of these to the specific elements. So what we need to do in order to do that is use the ID feature I mentioned before. So we're going to come over here and click on where we want the stats to go. So we'll just go with this one. And then we're going to type in stats in here and you need this to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And then in our stats workflow step, we are going to put the element ID in there. And then the other one we would like to control is the filter one. So we're going to click on here, I'm going to scroll down, filter, copy and paste and then paste it into our filter step here. And then if we refresh, you'll see that the onboarding steps have moved around. Such as this. Perfect, so this is looking pretty good so far. The next thing I wanna do is actually have it be 
custom to my brand colors. So whatever your brand colors are, they're probably not the same bubble blue. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to the editor and then click on the product tour element here that we added earlier. We're gonna go through here and you can actually customize all of these different steps. So you can allow them to not go back and forth if you'd rather that. You can allow them to skip the tour altogether. Uh, you can adjust whether you want them to complete the tour or nothing happens if they click outside the step. They can click on the different elements or not click on the different elements. So when the product tour is up, it's whether it's clickable or not. If you want to change the wording specifically for any of these, you can do that as well. Uh, you can change the size of the button font, the overlay. So if you want it to be much darker, you're going to put it at a higher number, like 90%, and it'll be much darker there. And then here's where you can change all their colors. So instead of that blue, we're going to take this over to an orangish color. That's going to be my brand color. And then we're going to keep our font as white. We can make it a little bit bigger though. And then we'll keep the body and interior fonts the same, but you could change those of course in the same way. So let's take a look at see and see what exactly that did. Good. So this is pretty dark back here. We probably don't want it quite that dark, uh, but we can see that it did adjust our colors in there for us too. Uh, so we're going to take this back down and we're going to put it back at 50. Perfect. As you've probably noticed, the tour does pop up every single time, even after someone has completed it, which is not the ideal scenario because it'd be pretty annoying to have to click through here every single time. So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our database and in our user section, we're going to create a new field called completed tour. And that's just going to be a yes, no field like that. And then we're going to set the default as no. So when a user is created, they have not completed the onboarding tour. And then back in our design or back in our workflows here, rather, what we're going to do is instead of starting the product tour every single time, it's only when the current users completed tour is no. And then once they've completed the tour, we need to also make a change to that user saying they've in fact completed the tour. So we're just going to change the completed tour field to yes. And then that will signal that they've completed it and it won't run every single time it loads. So we'll take a look at that here. All right. So this is the first time through everything is working. Now potentially they come back to the page and it doesn't show up again. Perfect. All right, but what if we do want it to show up again? Maybe they forgot a step, they want to rewatch it. What we're going to do is we're going to add a button in here. That's just a rewatch button. So we're just take our button over here, put it there, rewatch. And we'll take a moment just to style this a little bit nicer so it's not so bright blue as that. Perfect, and we'll put it in the center and make it a little smaller. Great. And then what this button is going to do is we're going to add a workflow to that. And then you're going to do start product tour. And it's just as simple as that. Now the button's here and it'll start the tour all over again. Perfect. That is all for this video. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and we will get back to you.